Hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome back! I can't help but do that welcome, welcome. Does anyone know what I mean when I go welcome, welcome? It's from the Hunger Games, stuck in my head endlessly. I can't get rid of it. Someone please help me. Um, but welcome on back to another build. This one, I'm excited for and I think you will be too if you are a millennial like me you're gonna be excited because it's a plant themed it's plant themed cottage all right it's cottage core vibes it's plants what more could you want what more could you want <laughs> so that's what we're gonna get into today I'm very excited I put plants plants and rugs go in every single build that I do so that's what we're focusing on again today so I guess let's get into the build shall we <laughs> but the outfit looks cute so we're just we're just gonna sit very close to the camera and you're not gonna judge me you're not gonna say anything in the comments either because wearing green on a green screen is a very silly mistake so we're just we're just gonna shush about this and all is gonna be fine <laughs> right shall we focus on what the main thing is here the build the build is what's taking place, not the fact that my green screen and my green shirt are blended in together. Keep that to yourself. Don't don't hate on me. Don't be mean. We're all we're all good here. We're all friends, right? We're all friends. <laughs> but here we go. Here we go. We are starting on the build. Obviously, we're building Hemford on Bagley because it's Hemford on Bagley. Pay no attention to my invisible arm. <laughs> Right, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. We're going to continue and all is going to be fine. We're building on Hemford on Bagley. Obviously, we're going super cottage core vibes on this one. She's looking hella cute. Um, I'm already living for it with the stone walls, the thatched roof. Like, it, it had to be done when we said we're doing cottage and plants, right? It, it had to be done. So let's sprinkle in some windows. I spend so long way longer than i care to admit picking windows if you've ever caught my live streams on twitch you'll know how long of a process it is it's uh it's too long <laughs> more than i care to admit um but we eventually pick out you guys are seeing a very a very shortened down version of this but i love the little turret on the side i think the turret on the side is super cute i love it adding the little thatch detail on top i'm pretty sure the sunroom on the side goes through a massive transformation as well i i am what we called a big builder <laughs> i'm a big build bestie i can't build small so my builds always start massive even the shed that we're building now i'm pretty sure we end up shrinking down when it comes to decorate because it's just too large it's just too large but you know what we have hopes and we have vision and that that is all that matters <laughs> Right, me trying to combat the stairs. Now, for inside, I really wanted this to be a quaint little cottage. So it's like, we're gonna do a lofted, a lofted bedroom moment. So it's gonna be quite open plan. There you go. I'm putting in the spandrels. I know what they're called now. They're called spandrels. Spandrels with a banister. Uh, very much using the cottage living kit throughout this build. Like, I wish we kind of expanded our horizons a little bit but sometimes you want to be basic and use all the cottage living stuff in the cottage living world and you know what that's okay don't let anyone tell you what it's not right here we go getting some nice wood floor in him i 100 percent would live here i would love a kind of a mez is it called a mezzanine maybe where it's like this lofted bedroom moment but you can still see downstairs downstairs oh what Oh, I love the high school build furniture. The build buys stuff out of high the high school pack is beautiful. I think as well, when we started building this, I just got a new pack, um, or it's a stuff pack. It's the cool kitchen pack. And I end up using the flowers and the cookbooks. There you go, there they are. <laughs> I end up using those throughout this build because I don't know if you're like me, when you get a new pack, that's all you wanna use. So I was like, how can I fit these flowers and books everywhere in this build? And I'm not even ashamed about it. What I am ashamed about is I'm wearing green on a green screen. Uh, <laughs> let's obviously add a nice fluffy rug in here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's obviously gonna be more plants. The whole point of this build was bringing the outdoors in. So just filling it with as many plants as we could without it being like too silly, I guess. Get some lights in. 
There we go. I, I love doing that. The big likes, likes? The big lights dangling down are such a vibe. I think it's adorable. Even the artwork, even the artwork is gonna be plants, guys. What more, what more could you want from me? What more could you want? <laughs> gonna sprinkle that round there, sprinkle. Gonna place that there. More plants, just more. All the plants you could pos possibly imagine. If we could have another plant kit in the game, I would very much like that. I would kind of be living for that. But that's okay, you know what? We'll use what we have and we'll we'll just place it on every possible surface, including the ceiling. <laughs> the one thing um, me and the chat noticed, because I built this live on Twitch, was the window that's uh, kind of above the kitchen would be very difficult to clean. Uh, you would need a ladder because there's no floor above it. Right, this was me panicking because I forgot to put a bathroom in this build. So what you're seeing now is my brain scrambling to go, okay, this isn't why I planned. It's gonna make it a lot more quaint and cozy, which you know what, for a cottage makes sense. Um, but I, I just, in every build, I forget to add a bathroom. And then the chat are screaming at me. And what you see here is the panic brain movements of a mad woman trying to fit a bathroom <laughs> into this build. But you know what? We were very lucky that we figured it out when we did um, and I hadn't done the living room or anything yet because I think if I'd done the living room, I might have cried um, because there would have been nowhere else for this to go. And this worked perfectly. It was the perfect size for a fire uh, fireplace, which is beautiful. So again, it's super quaint, super cozy. This was a tick, a, a tick? This was a trick that my chat told me. If you get one of the wall mounted TV units, size it down, you can hide it on the wall and then your TV is actually on something. Rather than just floating in the air, I thought that was a fantastic idea there, guys. So if you're thinking about doing that yourself, let me know. Let me see any, way, any other ways you could do it actually, because yeah, I'm still new to The Sims. <laughs> But you know what? We're figuring it out and we're having fun. This living room as well. It's so cozy and inviting. I, oh, here we go. More plants, more plants. Just put them all on the windowsill. <laughs> you can never have too many, especially when the theme is plants. Um, but no, I could imagine being in this living room with like a cozy hot chocolate, a blanket, little papa on your feet, like just giving the doggy all the cuddles and stuff. I think it would be so cute and so adorable and I'm kind of here for it. Everyone keeps telling me as well, I need to get, um, is it the better, no, or is it the tool mod I think it is that people are telling me I need to get? I need to look into it properly and research it because new things scare me. I don't know if change scares anyone else or if that's just me. Hopefully I'm not, hopefully I'm not alone in it. <laughs> nice little entryway. I always explain to everyone, like if you can add more like a mirror into at least every room of your house you're doing it right because that's what my actual house is like a mirror everywhere just so you you don't have to go wandering born you can just you just have a little look at your appearance as you go this was such a cute idea in the end so this is like a little crafting knitting corner um so it's got like your pom-poms of yarn you've got cross stitch there obviously there's gonna be more plants don't don't even worry more plants are on the way here we go see me me trying to select plants <laughs> Does anyone else get annoyed about trying to get lots of plants that will actually sit on a small table? Again, you're seeing a very quick condensed version of my brain trying to piece this area together. <laughs> but it ends up so cozy. And again, I would sit here in the morning. I would have a cup of coffee in this corner while I water all my plant babies. 100%. 100%. He's so cute. I like all the big wooden beams that we've added as well that kind of match uh, the staircase. I think it just makes it feel a little bit more intentional, a little bit softer than if we just left those as hard corners that like the, the normal walls give you. I think it just softens it a little bit. Obviously more plants in the artwork. You can never have too many. Never too many plants. So much so I decided to wear green to be a plant. Look how well that turned out. <laughs> okay, adding more lights. Now, I almost messed up, you saw a second ago, where I almost attached it to nothing because there's no ceiling above the kitchen area. So we only can have the extra light here. Oh, shelves, for more plants. Just more, more is more. If you've ever been like in my streams or anything, more is more. You, there's no such thing as too much clutter in The Sims. If I could have more clutter packs, I would be 
forever grateful sims i'm just saying i'm just saying give me more <laughs> if you're also a clutter goblin like me please let me know because i can't stop our kitchen time obviously i think these are the country kitchen um instead of the cottage living ones we mixed it up you know i pushed the boat out a little bit so this was me just trying to figure out how to fit them all in here because the stairs was giving me a little bit of a headache to try and make them all fit i think we lose the end cabinet for the fridge in the end we'll see what happens because tiny kitchens aren't something i normally do because I run out of prep space so quickly because of the amount of clutter that I make, <laughs> that I add into a build. I'm like, I I need more space. I need an island. Um, so we really utilize the walls. We utilize placing things on top of the fridge here. Because also I can't add the wall cupboards or cabinets, sorry, because there is no space. There is no wall space. <laughs> so it's a really interesting build from like my perspective of trying to get things to fit and how we can make it work. Um, but we get there in the end, which is quite nice. I love a picnic basket. I don't even go on picnics, but I want a picnic basket. <laughs> Pop these in, add some extra pans, because where else are your, pla your pans gonna be? Oh, right, here we go. I got the cool kitchen pack, I told you. We got the spice rack on the fridge. We've got the chopping board. It was such a good little stuff pack. I got it on sale and I absolutely love it. Highly recommend. Here we go. It's more clutter. Just more. <laughs> Too much. In my brain, I thought you could use the end cabinets to prep, but I'm not sure if that's 100% um, true. So if that's not, please forgive me. Um, I'm very sorry. I think I leave the corner cabinet free maybe. Yeah, oh, there we go. So I changed it. I changed it to the corner cabinet being free. Paranormal chairs, stunning. We love them. Another little window bay moment. Filled with plants, obviously. And up it goes, scoot it in. <laughs> One day I'll get the hang of the different camera angles. I'm trying to use the Sims 3 camera angle a lot more. It's tricky. As someone who's never really played The Sims until now, um, it's very tricky to learn the camera modes. But you know what? It's a journey that we're all experiencing together. Hopefully one day I'll get the hang of it. One one can dream, a girl can dream. A uh, little coat rack in the entryway, of course. And obviously to wipe your dirty shoes. Now the sunroom. This bloody sunroom. <laughs> you know what we do quite well in the end in the end we get we get the hang of it here you go it looks pretty i think we end up doing a lot of work with the ceiling oh i have a lot of fun with platforms trying to make platforms work but the end result is really cool don't be afraid to try new things that's my biggest tip from this build i never use platforms i never really make layered builds um so this was really different for me but I think it worked out really nicely um, and just adds like a little bit of depth and dimension to what would have been quite a large empty space otherwise um but by doing this we end up using like this lower area as a seating area we make it super cozy it's like again you could sit there in the morning watch out the like watch out <laughs> not what i mean could look out at the views out the windows and stuff and just watch watch nature go by and i think that's really cute yeah, so here's me trying to sort the roof out. Now, I learned a new tip on how to kind of do, um, I don't know what you would call it, like a panelled roof? Because having it all glass was just letting in way too much light. Like, you can still see it's super bright in there, but when you have the whole thing glass, it was just, it was too intense. So we made the executive decision to just have one panel of glass there. Um, so it still lets in lots of light. You've got so many windows. I mean, you probably didn't need the glass roof, um, but I had, I, I was just sat on it in my heart. So we made it happen. <laughs> you know, when you're so set on something, nothing is coming between me and that idea. I will make it work. I'll make it fit in my build no matter what. Ah, uh, cute little plant table here. It's just, oh, it's just adorable. Oh, me uh, testing, sizing things up and down. I was like, it looks like it's kind of floating, but I couldn't figure out how to get it exactly on the table when you size it down. We tried our best though. Um, and I think the effect is still there. It's still really cute. I think some of the objects are ever so slightly floating. So if you did download this and you know how to adjust them, maybe go ahead and do that. But I tried my best. And as a new Sims player, that's what you can really do. 
here we go here we go look at all these cozy vibes more plants see what i mean by just adding this platform in here it makes sense Ah, oh, the shed time is it shed time we're gonna see what we do even i don't know what we do shed time right I know the shed ends up being shrunk, okay? Because this is way too big of a shed for such a quaint little cottage. Um, I'm just obviously go big or go home. I'm trying to build a little bit more constrained. <laughs> We're trying, okay? We're trying. But I find so many cool items. I'm like, well, I need to fit them all in. And that's where you're gonna see my mad woman process now of trying to fit various flower arranging tables and gardening tables in a very small space. But the beauty, the beauty of making a shed is it's supposed to be cluttered. It's supposed to be like really awkward. Maybe there's, a, you know what? I didn't put any spider webs in here. Maybe we should have added spider webs. Batu! Um, I love these cabinets, by the way, from the Star Wars pack. <laughs> Honestly, the build buy stuff from the Journey to Batu pack, I love. Like there's a beautiful stone flooring in there that I absolutely use in so many of my builds. Um, I've never done the gameplay, but the build items I adore. Uh, and that's my opinion on Batu. If you if you're wondering, bam, bam. there we go. Yes, little aprons in there for gardening. Oh, this is where I love. Um, this is what I love on a build is adding all the small details in. So adding all the clutter items, the decorations, making it feel actually lived in rather than a show home. Because uh, a lot of my early builds, they were very bare. They were they were lacking the clutter. And then I embrace the clutter. I'm now one with clutter and it's fine. Um, and there's just no such thing. Oh, there's those cool kitchen flowers again. Uh, there's no such thing as too much now, uh, but it's super cute. I will say if you end up downloading this, I pretty much used every single pack I own. So I do apologize if items are missing when you download it. Um, I really struggle just to use like one pack or anything. I'm like, look at all these cool items that I have. Um, but mainly, it's mainly cottage core and the clutter kits in here. Maybe the blooming plants kit as well, actually, because it is a plant build, but it's just super cute and it's super small and cozy. Um, much more believable as a shed now than what that huge thing was to begin with. There we go, see? It's cute now. Oh, the garden. I have got so into landscaping re recently. I don't know if anyone else loves landscaping, but oh my God, I've fallen in love with it to like really add some personality to a build. It's so much fun. So I'm gonna take you through the whole landscaping process that we end up doing here. Oh, this is me trying to decide between flower boxes. There we go. Add some little vines to the house. These are cute. I think these are romantic garden. We've got the cottage court archway there. But yeah, again, more is more when it comes to landscaping. If you think you have done enough, I can guarantee you can add an extra layer of terrain paint in there and just bring it to an extra level. <laughs> that's my that's my thoughts on it. So we just add in some little roof details here because it's all in the details. More is more, guys. So we make like a super windy path. Because again, when I think of country living, nothing's nothing's too robust, nothing's too straight. It's all kind of wiggling around nature. It's adapting to nature. So that's what I'm kind of doing here on this pathway. Just smoothing it out a little bit to get the shape that we want, just to make it feel a little bit more, a little bit more natural. And then we're gonna go in with lots of different shades of mud, basically. <laughs> and plants, more plants, more is more. Uh, so let's just skedaddle that in there. I love this little pond that we did as well. Um, I just felt like it was such a large garden. We needed to add something. Um, so the pond really helps tie it together. This is just me doing some shading. Uh, always do that around any builds or anything where it might not get as much sun. You can see doing around the pond here just makes sense because it's going to be a little bit more muddy where water is touching the ground. Uh, so that worked really nicely. We're just going to edge in all of our paths. Again, like you can just see the difference. If you look to the right and the left, you can see the difference that just adding that very, very faint shading of like that dirty um, grass round it just gives it, just gives it that extra little, extra little oomph and actually makes it look like it's part of the lot rather than just placed on top. That's the main thing uh, with landscaping. It's just trying to make it all, all incorporate together. Oh, here we go. Me trying to figure out a, a fence. <laughs> Oh, I've given you 
the shortened version. I got so angry that I couldn't find a fence and a gate that I liked together. So yeah, I did use the cottage living. We've gone basic, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> it ends up working really cute. We mix it in with some of the hedge fences as well, just to make it look like maybe some of the bushes have overgrown a little bit. Um, there we go. It's just to make it feel, again, a little bit more with nature rather than just like a a square rock wall encompassing the build, which I hate. So I wanted to incorporate it. Here we go. I don't know why I made it nighttime. <laughs> Apparently I just fancied uh, a change of scenery with the uh, with the light in. There we go, that's a little bit better. You see, I just added like a little hedge section around some of this just to make it feel a little less, I guess robust maybe. That is my puppies if you can hear them. So we're gonna do that. I like adding um, some shapes, some diagonals onto it as well. Rather than just a big square, I think sharp corners on walls, especially in the cottage living pack, just don't, they don't do it for me. So we're just, we're just moving it around naturally around what buildings are already here. Just skedaddling a few more in. You, yeah, you want it to look natural, but not, not like a big box around the property because a big box around the property looks weird but I was like this way we can protect like any bunnies that we put in if we want to put chickens in you can then add in some trees again just making it feel a lot more part of the land uh, landscape the natural landscape surrounding it a little picnic table anything to embrace nature obviously some duckies we've got some ducks we've got some lily pads going on some little fireflies for when it's night time Add some reeds. I probably could have added in uh, way more reeds. Oh, it just skipped. But yeah, we end up adding some reeds there, incorporating some uh, plants around the pathway. This just helps frame it and kind of direct your Sims to use the paths. Otherwise, they just kind of cut across. So I kind of always use plants to kind of like a fence, I guess. I know they. I think they might be able to walk through them, but they just tend. They tend not to. Um, so we've got some flowers going here and they end up looking beautiful. End up using these really pretty colorful ones. They've got some oranges and purples. Uh, we end up doing a lot of lavender as well. So those purples in those bunch of flowers that we're doing right now end up working so nice. The purple ends up being a running theme through the landscaping, um, which is just so cute. And I'm a big fan of it. They're just incorporating this little corner down here. The little bunny trunk as well. So we can have bunnies in the garden. The more flowers. Just again, more is more guys. <laughs> you just see me just mass placing them. I'm like, yes, yes, more. Give me more. <laughs> here we go. Adding some more around the pathways here. I'm leaving a few gaps so that it looks like you can walk through them and we end up making like little mud trails as well. There you go, you can see that of just like pathways that people might walk in the garden, make it look a little bit more like a heavy trafficked area off the path sometimes. Some little daisies. It's cute. More plants, just more. Again, I told you guys, more is more. That's what you're gonna see here is more is more. <laughs> but you can see it all start coming together. I always think when you start landscaping, it never looks, it never looks fantastic. You just have to keep going and that's okay. And the more you add, especially in an area like this, the Henford on Bagley area, it's important. Like it just brings it all together. Also, you just saw me do it there. Whenever you place plants as well, do a little bit of terrain paint under them. Just a little bit more of the mud to make it look like, you know, either it's super fertile soil or maybe just less sun is hitting it kind of vibe. Um, just makes it look a bit more natural. Add the more flowers. <laughs> Look how cute that's looking though, this little picnic area. Yeah, right, I'm going in with all the mud now. Just gonna add some mud. And there you have it! Look how cute that looks. Right, let's go on a tour, guys. Let's let's see what this property has to offer. I hope you love it as much as I do. Like, look how gorgeous this is. Let's go through the little front gate, shall we? We got some bunnies, we got duckies with their little ducklings as well. It's just such a wholesome, cozy vibe, this build. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Like that is what greets you when you enter this build. It's so pretty. It's so cozy, warm, inviting. 
And that's what I personally want from a cottage. Nothing too big. Oh, like the stairs as well, just so pretty. I love this open plan. Up for the upper level, I just think it's so pretty. I don't think it's got enough storage for me. Like if I was to actually live here, I don't think me and both the dogs could fit. But you know what, other than that, maybe for a nice weekend away, potentially. <laughs> Oh, the paranormal chairs are so cute. I like that you can see the sunroom peeking through there. The kitchen, you know what? It's got a coffee machine and that's that's all I need is a coffee machine. <laughs> Here we go, the sunroom. Look at that view out there, guys. I feel like if you, if you are living in the country, you want to be part of the views, you know? They're just, it's just so cute, so wholesome. Look at the bunnies out there. The little bunnies. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's adorable. When can I pack my bags to come stay? <laughs> the duckies. Look, do you like the gnome as well? It's even got sunflowers on his hat. I thought that was a real cute little touch there. Like maybe she decorated the gnome herself or something. Oh, a very cute little shed. I think it's the only shed I would ever go in. It looks clean. There's no spider webs. I hate spiders. <laughs> but there you have it, guys. This build was so much fun to do it's so cute i love it so much oh look at them a little fox there just ran by i don't know if you saw that oh i love it i love it i love it yes and there you have it guys i hope you loved that build as much as i did i thought it was stunning i honestly the cottage living pack i i would die for she's gorgeous she's stunning she has everything i could possibly need um but i hope you enjoyed that build as much as i did it's so pretty it is on the gallery my ea tag is life and beth if you want to find it on there feel free to download it for yourself and just live out your cozy plant vibes what more what more could you possibly want you tell me you tell me because i'll be happier i'm moving in i'm packing my bags that's what i'm doing <laughs> but that that is it from me guys i hope you enjoy the wonderful rest of your day and i'll catch you on the next one see you later